In this video, I'm going to discuss converting repeating decimals to fractions. In the previous video, we did terminating decimals, which were decimals that uh, stop, like 0.7, and we put that decimal over a 10. Okay, so now we have a repeating decimal, which means this is going to be 0.7, and then the 7 goes on forever, right? So instead of using 10s with repeating decimals, we're going to use 9s. So it's going to be 7 over 9. And you can go ahead and check that by doing long division or um, using a calculator to kind of check to make sure that works. But your repeaters are going to go over 9s. Okay, and what, just for kicks, what is this bar called? Well, it's called a vinculum. Vinculum, it's a Latin term. So our repeating decimals have this bar over them that indicate they're going to repeat forever. And when they repeat, we're going to put them over nines. So one repeating decimal goes over a single nine. So that goes right into our second example, 0.63, where both the 6 and the 3 are repeating. So 0.636363. And in this case, we're going to put the 6 and the 3. There are two digits that repeat. So we're going to put it over two nines, 63 over 99. I notice we can reduce this, we can divide the top and the bottom by 9, so it becomes 7 over 11. Okay, so I want to talk about a relationship that we have about numbers with 9 in the denominator and numbers with 11 in the denominator. Let's first look at the fractions whose denominator is 9. So you'll notice here we have 1 9th, 2 9 3 9 and we go all the way to 7, 8, and 9 9 so let's look at this for a moment. We notice that each single digit here gets its own decimal repeating. So 1 ninth is 0.1 repeating, 2 ninths, 0.2 repeating. And you can see by this table why we use nines for the repeating digits. So uh, if we have 0.5 repeating, so 0.55555, it's going to be 5 over 9. A very interesting thing that students uh, like to argue about is the notion of 0.9 repeating equaling 1. So 9 over 9 is the same as a whole fraction or a whole value, so 1. But notice our pattern here, 0.7 repeating is 7 ninths, 0.8 repeating is 8 ninths, and 0.9 repeating is 9 ninths. Very interesting. So what we're seeing here is that 0.9 repeating, so we're saying 0.9999 forever, is actually equal to 1. Without rounding, or without estimating, 0.9 repeating is 1. Secondly here, I'd like to look at the fractions whose denominators are 11. So we have all of them here, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way through 10 elevenths and 11 elevenths. And uh, it looks like this time we have two digits that repeat. And uh, look at the characteristics that these uh, two digits have. 0, 9, 1, 8, 2, 7, 3, 6. It looks like they're all going to be multiples of 9. So 9 times 1 is 0, 9. 2 times 9 is 1, 8, 3 times 9 is 2, 7, 4 times 9 is 3, 6, and so on, right? So we do this table all the way over until we have 10 times 9 is 90, so 0 0.909090, 0 .90090. and then 11 elevenths would be 11 times 9, which is 99. So again, we see this 0.9 repeating actually equals this whole fraction here, this whole value of just 1. So 0.9 repeating is our 1. But notice the nice uh, progression that we have, that uh, each one of these elevenths is just going to be 9 times the numerator for your repeating decimal. So 9s and 11s, you see, have a very nice relationship with one another as far as these repeating decimals are concerned. And let's now look at three more examples. In this first one, we have 0 0.321, and the 3 and the 201 are all repeating, so it'll be 0 0.321, 321, 321, forever and ever. So how can we take this and make this into a fraction? Well, we have one, two, three digits that are repeating. So I'm going to put that over one, two, three nines. And the digits that are actually repeating are three, two, and one. So I'll put 321 over 999. And when I look to reduce this, I notice that both the numerator and the denominator are divisible by three. So if I go ahead and take a three out of each one of those, I'll notice 107 with my numerator, so 107 over 333, 
and this can't be uh, reduced any further. So 107 um, 330 thirds would be the fraction in this case. And again, you can go ahead and get your calculator out and divide 107 by 333, and you're going to notice you'll get 0 0.321321321 321 on your calculator. So this next example is 4.4, .4, and this 4 is repeating. So kind of like we saw in the last video, the whole number here just comes along for the ride, so 4, and then this decimal portion that repeats is going to be 4 over 9, so it's going to be 4 and 4 ninths. And we see that this uh, cannot reduce any, so we'll just leave it just like that. Okay, and this last one, we have another whole part, so we'll just say a 5 out front. And then we have these two digits that are repeating, so we have 75 over, and since they're repeating, we'll put it over two nines, just like that. And we notice that this numerator uh, can once again be divisible by 3, and uh, also the denominator is divisible by 3. So it'll be 5 and 75 divided by 3 is 25, and 99 divided by 3 is 33. So this last example, 5.75, and the 75 are repeating, is going to be 5 and 25 30 thirds. So remember, whenever you're using repeating decimals, your denominator is just going to be a 9 or several 9s, depending on how many digits that you have are repeating.